In economics, total factor productivity, also called multi-factor productivity, is a variable which accounts for effects in total output not caused by traditionally measured inputs of labor and capital. If all inputs are accounted for, then total factor productivity can be taken as a measure of an economia euro unregistered trademark s long-term technological change or technological dynamism. TFP cannot be measured directly. Instead it is a residual, often called the solo residual, which accounts for effects in total output not caused by inputs. The equation below represents total output as a function of total factor productivity, capital input, labor input, and the two inputs respective shares of output. An increase in either A, K or L will lead to an increase in output. While capital and labor input are tangible, total factor productivity appears to be more intangible as it can range from technology to knowledge of worker. Technology growth and efficiency are regarded as two of the biggest subsections of total factor productivity, the former possessing special inherent features such as positive externalities and non-rivalness which enhance its position as a driver of economic growth. Total factor productivity is often seen as the real driver of growth within an economy and studies reveal that whilst labor and investment are important contributors, total factor productivity may account for up to 60% of growth within economies. TFP is more accurately measured in long term, since TFP can vary substantially from one year to another. It has been shown that there is a historical correlation between TFP and energy conversion efficiency. Criticism, growth accounting exercises and total factor productivity are open to the Cambridge critique. Therefore, some economists believe that the method and its results are invalid. On the basis of dimensional analysis, TFP is criticized as not having meaningful units of measurement. The units of the quantities in the Cobb Euro Douglas equation are Y widgets year, L, man hours year, K, capital hours year, I plus or minus. I squared pure numbers, due to being exponents, A, slash, CAFRI plus or minus M A N H R I squared, a balancing quantity, which is TFP. The units of A do not admit a simple economic interpretation, and the concept of TFP is accordingly criticized as a modeling artifact. Estimation, as a residual, TFP is also dependent on estimates of the other components. A 2005 study on human capital attempted to correct for weaknesses in estimations of the labor component of the equation, by refining estimates of the quality of labor. Specifically, years of schooling is often taken as a proxy for the quality of labor, which does not account for differences in schooling between countries. Using these re-estimations, the contribution of TFP was substantially lower. Robert Ayers and Benjamin Moore have found that the model can be improved by using the efficiency of energy conversion efficiency, which roughly tracks technological progress. See also, solo residual, multifactor productivity, productivity model. References Caves, Douglas W. and Christensen, Lauritz and Dewitt, W. Irwin, 1982. Multilateral Comparisons of Output, Input, and Productivity Using Superlative Index Numbers, Economic Journal, Royal Economic Society, Volume 92, 365, pages 73-86, March. Caves, Douglas W. and Christensen, Lauritz and Dewitt, W. Irwin, 1982. The Economic Theory of Index Numbers and the Measurement of Input, Output, and Productivity, Econometrica, Volume 50, 6. Pages 1393 to 1414, November. Alexandra Darskovska and La Copyright Apold Simer and Tsar Copyright Bastian Belegium, 2010. Forecasting the Marmquist Productivity Index, Journal of Productivity Analysis, Springer, Volume 33, 2, pages 97 to 107, April. Far Currency Re, R, Groskopf, S, Norris, M, and Zhang. Z. 1994. Productivity Growth, Technical Progress, and Efficiency Change in Industrialized Countries. The American Economic Review 84, pages 66 to Euro 83. Simer, Leopold and Wilson, Paul W. 1999. 
Estimating and Bootstrapping Malmquist Indices, European Journal of Operational Research, Elsevier, Volume 115, 3, pages 459 to 471, June. Mayer, A. and Z. Linyuk, V. 2014. Aggregation of Malmquist Productivity Indexes Allowing for Reallocation of Resources, European Journal of Operational Research, Elsevier, Volume 238, 3, pages 774 to 785. Zilinyuk, V. 2006. Aggregation of Malmquist Productivity Indexes, European Journal of Operational Research, Volume 174, 2, pages 1076 to 1086. Further reading, Halton, Charles R. Dean, Edwin R. Harper, Michael J. New Developments in Productivity Analysis, Chapter Total Factor Productivity, A Short Biography. Sponsored by, National Bureau of Economic Research. University of Chicago Press Pages 1 Euro 54. ISBN 0-226-36062-8. Retrieved October 22, 2013.